the question is how does increasing a concentration if affects the reacting particles increasing a concentration will increase the collision rate that is true like example if i have a small concentration few collisions if i have high concentration more collision but increasing a proportion of the particle with activation energy active like means greater number of the particle have energy more than activation that's not correct because activation energy if we increase the temperature then the, the proportion of the particle will change like more particles will have energy more than activation and if we use the catalyst catalyst also lower the activation energy so same thing happen greater proportion of the particle will have energy more than activation so by using a catalyst we can lower the activation by increasing a temperature we increase the energy of the particle so they have more energy or more than activation so that's the term concentration concentrated means or co means more reactant particles are there so they will have more collision so with reference to that number of the collision will change but the proportion of the particle with activation energy will remain same this proportion can vary only if we are changing a temperature or we are using a catalyst so when we check this question the apparatus stone is used to measure the rate of reaction by measuring the volume of a gas because a gas syringe is correct so <laughs> Sorry, which equation represent a reaction where the rate can be measured using this apparatus? So means we just have to check the gas should be given out. So first reaction, hydrogen is a gas given out. That's why option A is the right answer. Rest all why it's not acceptable because there is no gas given out. In this question, student add excess of magnesium. Ribbon student add excess of magnesium ribbon to 10 cm cube of 0 0.5 mole per dm cube sulfuric acid. So the hydrogen gas was collected and its volume was measured every 10 seconds. So this dotted line is representing the amount of hydrogen gas which is released. So initially, the amount of hydrogen gas released is shown here. Now what happened, the experiment was repeated, student repeated the experiment with the same mass of magnesium, but now he used a small amount of hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, sorry, not hydrochloric acid, it was sulfuric acid. 